Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche where we I just got my butt kicked in the the rat king I'm not going to show you it because you've already been through that dungeon once with me and uh yeah not fun not good not good times right so one thing that I want to do before I go back and, and see him again okay is this I want defensive posture before I go in again. So I have one more point that I need to take, unfortunately, in uh, in debuff and healer and all that sort of thing. Loot. I think we're going to do double loot. We'll do some more double loot. So we've got, we've got our five points in there. So I need one more level before I can take my defensive posture. And I think that's going to really help me get through... Uh, the rat. Also, I will get a load more healing items because I realised when I was going around there, I will show you, that uh, they fixed apple slices. I don't think apple slices were ever meant to do what apple slices did. So say I uh, go cut down a tree or something. Bash, bash, bash. And then I eat an apple slice and it just gives me my stamina back. It does not give me any health back. I mean, it doesn't really illustrate that because I haven't lost any health, but trust me, that's all it does now is what it says on the tin. So apple slices are no longer the most amazing thing in the world. Herbal mixture restores health. Simple ointment restores health. Red mushrooms restore health. Hmm. Red mushrooms. I have an idea. I have a cunning plan, people. We're going to spend a lot of today, I'm sorry if this is going to be a little bit grindy, getting lots of mushrooms. And where did I see lots of mushrooms? On the tree farm. I don't know whether we'll be able to do anything to level ourselves up up here. Might be able to um, take down a few pan bats, maybe. No, no, the pan bats are all placid and happy. Also, I wanted to check how much wood I get from here. So at the moment, 300 wood. Um, adjust wood types, it's 100 is it? Yeah, so 120 and five, but I ended up with 300, probably 60 and 15. So it did add them up over the days. Uh, 300, 16, 15, yeah. Good, so I'll just come up here every few days and it'll be cool. So, yeah, when I was looking around here uh, before, putting all the sprinklers down, I did notice that there were a few mushrooms around here. So we're going to go and do some mushroom collecting. I really hope there still are. I'm not seeing any now. Oh, man. Please don't tell me all the mushrooms have gone away. Is it like mushroom hunting season? I think some things do happen seasonally. But yeah, I am kind of annoyed. I wasted like half an hour going back through those ruins. So I really do think that I need to collect a whole bunch more healing stuff to go in there with. And I... That Rat King is level 25. I'm level 21? 22 at the moment? 21. So... Yeah, I haven't got all of my fighting skills yet. And I don't think that's helping. Also, I am not the best fighter in the world. I, I'm not going to say that I am. Uh, where are all the mushrooms that I saw when I was putting all these sprinklers down? I saw a bajillion mushrooms up here. This is a waste of my money. This isn't fun. Okay, well, I guess then we are just going to have to uh, try and level up as best we can. I definitely want one more level. So even if that means I've got to go around the hazardous ruins a couple more times or whatever, really, I, I need to level up. That's the main thing. I'm not seeing any mushrooms around here and I'm very disappointed in that because I did see some before. There are none anymore. So we'll go up to um, Doctor's Use uh, Clinic and buy a whole bunch of stuff before we go back into that pipe. It's rubbish. But until then, I think we need to do a little bit of leveling and I think a really good place to do that will be 
just to go and collect stuff from the hazardous ruins and the collapsed wasteland. I know this is very grindy. But without that 50% damage reduction, I think I'm going to really struggle to get through. I might be able to do it if I put enough money into healing items. I need to just check how much oh, EXP I'm getting. So 114 at the moment from just killing these guys. 114, 126. So yeah, if I kill kill a few hundred animals, uh, might be all right. It's all gonna get me some money though, isn't it? Blue leather and fur and all that stuff, all that good stuff. But I think I'll make more money inside the ruins because I get money per kill in there. So we'll just go through level two again. We'll try the hidden level. I think it's just the troll telling me to go away. I tunneled this earth. I place this banner. If you want a path, wait till the next build here. Go. Let's go to level two then. We'll go to level two. We'll pick things up that we can sell for lots of money. We can maybe expand our workshop. There's an alarm. Sound the alarm. For Shilab is here. See, this is a bit too easy for me at this point, but definitely the next level isn't too easy. But, oh no, how do I get to there? Ugh, gone all the wrong way around. That's because of the alarm. It put me off. Ah! I nearly died. No, 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 no! I don't even know why I did that. Data disk, yay, well they're useful. Because it looks like it's running out and then it does another one. So you guys, you've got to look at the patterns on these things. I'm sure you guys do. It's just me that doesn't. I get like three chances though, it's cool. Some boxes and stuff around here. So by the time I've gone through this again, hopefully, I shouldn't be dead. Um, hopefully. Ow, I'm right in the drink. Oh, why does this always happen to me? Stupid jump dancers and stuff that stay in the water. Ow, 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 everything's ow. Everything is owie. I'm glad I didn't do this badly in the racking place. Okay, I'm enjoying the lack of uh, of poison in here. That's nice. I mean, I think I really need to be starting to properly use things like uh, the poison vials and stuff I've been picking up. That's another thing that I can take in to give me a bit of a bit of a leg up but as I say I think the, the biggest leg up I'm going to get is for that guy to be doing 30 damage to me instead of 60 per hit I mean when he's doing 60 damage per hit you don't have a lot of a chance to just get in there and I don't dodge attacks very well at the best of times so I need every advantage I can get I find sometimes I dodge and I end up dodging into things and then I end up taking more damage than I would have anyway but yeah, all this stuff that I'm picking up here, I can just like change uh, into money and then I can buy healing stuff with it. So I can just basically buy everything that Dr. Zhu has to offer. And that will help me get through the Rat King. He is not an easy adversary. Picking up smoked meat that won't hurt either because that smoked meat can be used for stamina as can any like apple slices or anything I pick up. And it all just means extra stamina for me when I go in and do the racking thing. 
And I'm going to need extra stamina because, as I say, that defensive posture that I'm going to be using to try and um, stop taking so much damage. I mean, it would be ideal if I could upgrade my sword before then as well, but I don't know how to do that. I think it might be data disks. And uh, I have not found the data disk for doing that yet. It's an it might be another 20 data disk one. But again, you will know when I do. I hope this is helpful to you guys when you're trying to do your playthroughs. You know, you know which things come from data disks, which things come from just generally upgrading things like workbenches, all that sort of thing. Owie! Oh, I'm nearly dead. However, I am just going to die because I get a chance. I get my full life back and that's a lot of money's worth of um, stuff and yeah slightly cheaty but if i was on my last life then yeah whatever but i'm not i want to save all these healing items that i have for when i go into the uh the proper ruins sorry the pipe the sewers that's what it is not the proper ruins this is the proper ruins it's the sewers I love the fact there is fighting in this because I think that having it a little bit more fighting oriented, even though I do struggle sometimes, uh, makes it really worthwhile doing all the things like growing your, your crops and all that sort of thing. It makes there be a point. I do this, I can get, do really well in the ruins and blah, blah, blah. I should try and take a commission today as well. I'd forgotten about that. I was just like, yeah, let's go fight stuff. But definitely a commission would would help. I mean, I get a lot of a lot of goals from being in here. Ow! Oh, oh. Which is really nice. It's really useful to get so many goals. Owie! The masked bean got me. I already have a lot of defensive um, stuff that makes me take a lot less damage. I'm getting a lot of stuff here that I can sell, which is fantastic. Lots and lots of loot. As I say, Venom, I need to try and start using that more. Like on the Rat King, maybe trying to use some Venom on him would be useful. Got a small engine. Nice. Very nice. What are these guys doing over here? Oi! Where did you come from? I do not have enough space in my inventory. Well, well. I didn't have a particularly full one to start with, but good grief, the stuff I've picked up here. Oh yeah, I never went back after I went to the farm as well. Had to happen sometime. 900 isn't too bad to get back. The stuff I'm getting in here is probably going to be worth it. This one again. Seriously? I hate that alarm. It oh it's so bad. It's so annoying. Oh, it's not quite the same layout. Same idea though. Is it backwards? It might be backwards actually. Da 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 simple circuits. The simple circuits are worth so much less than silicone chips. So much less. Wee, wee, run, Sheila, run. Okay, I didn't take any damage on that one, which is great. Oh, oh no, that's the wrong way. Sheila, go turn around. Ow! That was nearly ow, but it wasn't quite ow. I managed to avoid the ow. Waiting, waiting, waiting. More ow! Okay, that was level six. I'm not entirely sure that I get the uh, the prizes each time. A 
Come on, Pyrimp. Over here. Sucks when I get all like stuck in the water. I hate it. I can do quite a lot of damage to these jump dancers. I think there's, there's another one over there. They poison me? Well, I poisoned myself by jumping in the water there. I hate the, the way it pulls you forward. Be so careful. Ow, again. Ow, no. Why do I keep doing that? Why do I do that to myself? Okay, once that's finished, I'll open the chest. Copper wire. That kind of sucks a bit. It doesn't suck when you need it, but it sucks otherwise. It's not one that I can sell for a ton of money. People were saying that apparently there's a bit of a limit now to how much you can actually sell in one go, so I need to be a bit careful on that. So I've got another chest over here. With another valve in it. A valve sell for a decent amount. I can sell them at this point. Owie, 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 ow, ow, ow. Ranged attacks are nasty. Why do I not have a ranged attack? I think I have another chance after this, though, so it's cool. I would have been really good. Oh, I've got two chances. Oh, that's fine. Get. Okay. Get right the way through here on that, not a problem. I know, I'm so cheesy. I use whatever, whatever they give me, I use, basically. If they give me a second chance, I use the second chance. If they give me a third chance, I'll use the third chance. If they give me a 260 second chance. I would probably use that too. Ow, 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 ow. You guys are all poisoning me, and it's not funny. Yeah, so I'm just gonna kill this guy, and then I'm gonna have a look at what Venom does and see if see how that's used in a practical sense. So I've collected quite a bit of Venom, and you know it might be time to start using it. <gasps> not enough stamina. Good grief, no. Oh no! Oh no! The senti dogs. Oh, give me my stamina back. Got a small engine there, that's nice. Don't know why industrial engines don't count as special, but small engines do, but I guess that's because they, when you come in here to start with, you really need small engines. Okay, so this is the boss. Probably need stamina for the boss, but we've got a lot of smoked meat. We can use that. If I need more, I'll take more, but 500 should be enough to do this one. Ow! She says, taking tons of damage. Well, I'm trying to dodge roll, and all I'm doing is taking a load of damage. Ow! It's two down. I get another chance after this, though. It'll be my last chance, but... Chances remaining to... What? Okay, so it's letting me up, but it's not... That's weird. Just so you know, guys, that is weird. I'm pretty sure that's not how it's meant to work. Probably giving me a bit of a buy while um, they're still balancing the dungeon. Because, uh, as usual with this sort of thing, there's going to be some people that find the dungeons really, really hard, and some that find it really, really easy. I'm kind of in the middle. I 
I don't find this guy too bad. Rat King's way worse. He's dead. All oh, right, so you get the bloodstone and stuff every single time. That's useful. Good to know. Good to know. Get all these things as well. Lots of stamina for me. So how far did that get me with my EXP? About 700. It's going to be a while before I can do this Rat King thing, isn't it? Which really sucks. The problem is I can't go in and clear the rest of the dungeon. I, I'm i stuck in there once. The only way out is to kill him. And it's just a little bit of a difficult one for me at the level I'm at. I'm sure there's other people that who, are, who are totally amazing at fighting and everything and can just like boss him and use all the tactics to their advantage. But that's not me. So... I'm going to exit the ruins for now. Because we still haven't taken a commission yet. I think it might be too late in the day for it though. Which sucks. Well, let's see. Let's, uh, let's just DD back. Maybe three or four goes around that dungeon will enable me to get enough levels. Okay, let's see if we can get in. I don't think we'll be able to get into the Commerce Guild after six o'clock. I think it shuts. It might be eight that it shuts, but... Oh, no, I can get in. Cool. So I could try and do whatever. There's still four on the board as well. Nice. 13 levers. No thanks. Three copper plates. 19 fiber cloth. I was back to this again. I've got some shells. I'll take the shell necklaces for Carol. I'd rather do one I can do quickly. I mean, I am collecting up lots of fibre cloth, but I don't think I quite have enough. So it would mean that I'd have to spend a lot of time, like, killing things, and I don't really want to. I can make more planters as well while, while I'm waiting for the XP to come in. I'm sorry guys that uh, you probably all want to see me bossing this Rat King, but I know I need one more level before I'm going to be able to do it realistically. Okay, so shell necklaces. I need a rope on the basic Skyver and three shells. Three shells per necklace! Wow. Alright then. Another thing that I want to look into is swords. That's something I'll look into tomorrow. Um, I don't know whether upgrading to a level 3 workbench will help me get a better sword. And if it will, then that's definitely something I want to look at. So, rope. Cotton from the cloth store. Oh, come on. Why do I always take these things and then realise it needs something really super duper annoying? I know I've got the thing for cotton seeds, but I can't wait for that to grow. I'm actually tempted to quit that commission. I can't be bothered with it. If I give up, negative consequences. Blue. I guess I'll do it then. Can't believe I have to buy cotton for that. The shop won't even probably be open now. Grrr. Okay, I'm going to bed. I'm kicking my toys out of the pram and going to bed. It's good uh, practice, though, to know... To take commissions for pretty much everything and know what I'm getting myself into. Because copper plates would have been really easy to get. And I'm kind of annoyed with myself I didn't just go for that commission. It would have been the same results but now i've got to try and make these shell necklaces on the sky it's going to take me all day for like 40 it's ridiculous how much exp do i need for the next uh, level on that then <clears throat> mission so no it's not it's handbook no it's not it's character sorry 
Oh, we're really close, actually. Really close. A few more commissions and we'll be there. Need some close on something. And, actually, it gives you EXP, doesn't it? Or is it only building EXP? No, you get... I don't know, is that, is that only like builder EXP or is that real EXP? 20? I need to look at that when I hand in commissions, whether my EXP for fighting and stuff goes up or whether it's just my, my other EXP that goes up. Okay, let's get this to our cotton then. I think I only need I need four necklaces, I'm pretty sure. I'll check it before I buy, but so I think that needs four pieces of cotton. Hello, good doctor, sir. How are you doing? If you don't feel very well, just come to the clinic. I'll offer you my best help. Oh, that's nice of you. Hi, Paulie. Paulie's my best friend. So, cotton. 24 each. Great, thanks. How irritating. So I am kind of hoping here, because I didn't really check that rope only takes one cotton. And I'm also really hoping that there's only four shell necklaces. Either way, I need to get the rope started on the skyver. I hope it doesn't take too long. I'm running past all these herbs and I really should be picking them up. Because I was saying I need healing items and these are all heal uh, snake berries, they're healing items as well. All of this heals me. So the more I can pick up, the better. Because in that dungeon, I need all the help I can get. Was it apple juice? Gave me health as well. I may have thrown all my apple juice away, but that might be a really useful way to uh, to do things. Did I have any apple juice anymore? I have two apples. Because I was a bit like, oh yeah, apple juice is so rubbish. It doesn't give you very much compared to the apple slices. And now I'm like, oh, apple slices don't work anymore. Oops. This inventory needs proper sorting out as well. Happens every time I go in the dungeons. So anyway, I'm going to do some apple juice. That gives me... Oh yeah, that's 10 stamina. Oh, HP plus 2 per second. Yes, please. For how many seconds is the question, but yeah, worth it. Herbal tea restores 25 HP in the blender. Get get it for two herbs. Um, herbs are restoring 10, so that's also very worth doing. Afterwards, adds an extra 5 HP, definitely worth it. So, can feed it for, f yeah, use it for fish food. I should make that fish tank, shouldn't I? It's the one thing I haven't made. And again, I know I'm getting a little off topic here. Oh yeah, making the rope as well. Oops. Yeah, so I can craft four rope. That's going to take two hours. That's not as bad as I thought it might have been. Yeah, making a fish tank. I've decided that's something I'm going to do just to see what it's like. One of the only things I haven't made yet. I've made the DD, I've made the stone furnace, the grill, the silver cutter, sky of a tank, bridge stuff, DD stops, grinders, silver furnace, industrial furnace even, industrial cutter, cooking set. All of these things. Loads of stuff, but I have not made a fish display. And all I need for that is four hardwood planks, two bits of marble and four glass. So that's really not that difficult. 
I might even have those things already. I made tons of glass before, didn't I? Yeah, so glass I have, marble I have, and then it was something else. It was hardwood planks. That'll be the one thing I won't have. But I can make them, and it was four, was it? Four hardwood planks, yes. So we're gonna make this. So check status. I think it's done. Harvest. I've got 10 flour for that. Very good. I can plant another seed now. So uh, let's go and find another seed so we're not wasting any time on this uh, harvest and everything. And it means I can also... Uh, mm, cotton might be a good one, actually. Come back in my inventory. My inventory is still not big enough, even though I expanded it. Saw. Oh, that must be so. <laughs> I don't want to saw it, it'll break it in half. I'm going to need some more fertilizer though, definitely. And I definitely need more planting boxes. But we're working on the fish tank right now, so I need to just... Actually, we'll do it on the big cutter, because uh, it'll be quicker. I will just check the wood. Sometimes I do extras, so I want to check the wood chest in case I do have some. Oh, yeah. I do. Well, we'll just use that to replace what we're taking. Loads of glass. I've got loads of marble. There we are. A fish display. Oh. Inventory's full. Oh. Okay, for now I'll pop the seeds away, I think. Yeah, well, all this food can go away because I'm not going to be using it for a little while. Alright, venom can be used for crafting, but it can't be used directly by the looks of it. Okay, good to know. Good to know. And I wanted to get the big chest, didn't I, once I had enough money. To just to, That was one thing I wanted to show you guys, and I never did. Um, okay, so... Hold the fish or fish food to put into the fish tank. I think I can put it outside. Yes, I can. Do I have any fish in here? Ah, I've got some. I can pop a couple of, couple of catfish in there. And then I feed them dough, apparently. Now, people have been saying to me, you put, you can put two in and get three out. I don't know if there's like a, a maximum number of fish that can go in there. It's a little bit of an experiment at the moment. We'll leave them there, feed them some dough, etc, etc. Blah, blah, blah. So I've got my apple juice, which is not really that useful. However, the herbal tea is now more useful, which is good. Because it used to be that it didn't restore as much as the herbs on their own did. And that was kind of a bit annoying. But now they do, so that is great. I think if you're going to the effort of making something, it should give you more than its constituent parts. Okay, what are we going to do now then? Are our shell necklace ropes ready? Yes. Good stuff. How many shells do we have? That's going to be the next thing. I'm sure we've collected quite a few shells over the... Mm, no. Over the time. Craft shell necklaces times four. Yay! All right, let's go hand that into Carol, isn't it? Carol needs that. Yes. Making so much more food now. I'm actually really happy with all the food system. Uh, they're, they're slowly getting it right, you know? Let's, let's face it, those apple slices were pretty OP.
But yeah, I pretty much know where I need to be and what I need to do to get past that Rat King. So that's the main thing. I know what I'm aiming for. My EXP at the moment is 736. So remember that. Where's Carol? No! She barely all the way over there. Oh, Carol, you suck. Why are you not at your shop? Question really would be, Sheila, why didn't you check where Carol was before you actually ran over there? But, you know, I expected her to be at her shop. She's supposed to be looking after it. Why is she all the way up here? There's a whole quest up here, apparently, as well. Hmm, interesting. Well, we may as well see what it is. Probably to hand in more data disks. Oh, here's Carol. Right, okay. Not bad. This is your commission fee. Thanks. Okay, so I've got... Rep points and everything like that. So 736. And it's now 776. Yeah, so you do, you get EXP here and EXP here for doing commissions. Useful to know. If there's anything that's going to give me a lot of EXP, then I want to know about it. Wow, everyone's coming out from church. That's crazy. But I think there's something in the church for me to have a look at. Possibly. Or not. Oh, I never picked this up, apparently. Apple slices. It would have been way use more useful before. Oh, right. Okay. Oh. A large planter box. I can get... I can just buy it for a data disk. That's nice. One data disk for... 10 bamboo seeds, 10 cotton seeds, lettuce, apricot tree. Mmm. Rainbow flower, sisal seed. Mmm. So these seeds all take things like silicone chips. Very interesting indeed. I really need any of this though. Got five data disks, so that means I could actually get whatever. Um, I could get something a bit better, honestly. Plant fiber. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna cool it there. I think for now, but it's good to know. Very good to know that that is there. And that's like, like a cool little shop that I can use. So what is this then? Oh, Emily, of course. I can show her the results. Is there fall damage in this? I'm gonna find out soon enough. There isn't any, it's good. So we can hand in our quest to Emily. Wow, that's an excellent result. I'm a believer now. Can I order three of those planter boxes, please and thank you. Hmm. Is that actually a quest? Do three planter boxes and I get 50 EXP and 300 goals and Emily will like me 10 more. That sounds good. I don't actually remember what I need to make three of them. I, I'll probably try and make more than three because I want some for myself. I don't... I don't want to make them all for Emily. I'm going to have to kill those ladybugs as well. Okay, so let's see what we need for these planter boxes again, because I've, of course, I've forgotten. Of course, I've forgotten. Planter box. I don't remember where they are. 
what are they? All right, so three wooden boards, and I want to make about six of them. Oh, it's a clod. Okay. It has a name now. Yay, an animal feces. Okay. So we need to go mining in the Avada ruins to get clods. We need animal feces and we need wooden boards. So I'm going to start some wooden boards going because that's, pretty, that's going to be the easiest thing to do to start with. So wooden boards, I can make 10 of, which will give me about three planters. I probably need more than that. So I can make another 10 over here. Just 10 is the maximum. Loving having the wood from the tree farm is very good. It helps a lot. Uh, okay, so the next thing I need to do is to see how many clods I have. So I've put some things away in this mechanical parts chest, shall we? Oh, I love that they stack properly nowadays. It didn't used to and it wound me up something chronic. used almost all my shells for those shell necklaces and that reminds me that I need to um, get another commission before the commission guild closes commerce guild not commission guild that's not the right name for it I also did want to have a look at what I needed to do to upgrade uh, my swords I think it might be another upgrade to the workshop. Or the workbench, even. Oh, there's a health one. Four glasses. I have that. Straight away, no issue. But we'll see if we can do anything that's uh, spicy fish soup. As I say, I can't remember how to do that. I'm sure they told me how. Leather. Fiber cloth. <laughs> really? Why is it always that? Yeah, you know what? I'm taking Dr. Hughes, um glass order. I don't care. I really hope the B-grade orders are better than this. Wow! Is it a fireside meeting? My son Gus is nothing like me. Well, except for his talent and good-looking face. I'm guessing there was a fireside meeting, but I'm guessing that I don't need to be there because it didn't tell me. It didn't give me an email about one. Okay, so the doctor is probably going to be at the meeting. No? I think I need to go up here. I can hand it straight in. I've got the glass in my inventory from making the fish tank. Sometimes it's good to have a full inventory. Oh, it might be. No, no it's not Phyllis we hand it into, apparently. I thought it might have been. Um, this place is a bit of a maze sometimes, isn't it? The back streets of Porsche. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, hi, hi. I got some glass for you. Pretty well made, if you ever feel unwell, come to our clinic to get a checkup. I will do. Thank you for the goals. And the rep points. And the EXP points, because I really need EXP points right now so that I can uh, take half damage in my dungeon. How far are we getting with the build a lot? <gasps> the next one we do, as long as it's not a C grade one. As long as it's not a D-grade one, sorry, will get us to B-grade workshop level. Da, 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 da. I'm happy with that. Another thing that we could quickly do before the end of the day is to go and have a look for urchins and see if we can collect another couple of spines. We are almost halfway there. And also kill any ladybugs we can so that we can get the ladybug feces and then if we need to go in the mine and get clods then that's fine but at least we know we'll have most of the stuff that's my inventory oh my inventory's not too bad at all see these guys are worth killing now yay wow i got loads of stuff off them as well 
they've really increased the um the drop rates on things i think which is really really handy so i'm specifically going for ladybugs and urchins at the moment the llamas are safe today for once the llamas aren't normally safe ah see you jen come back and then we're going to end the episode i think once we've done that I've done a lot today. It's a nice long episode to make up for that horrible short episode just before New Year where I literally had to run out the door. I'm sorry about that one, guys. Spines plus two. Yay! Just meat off that one. I've got like so much meat though. I just sell it though. Because unless you really, really want to spend a fortune on salt, then you don't really want to make the grilled meat. There's better ways than that to get stamina. Early on, not, but uh, nowadays, there's much better ways than that to get stamina. I'll pop across to Amber Island and I'll get any urchins across there that I can. But now we've got 10 spines out of 20. Hooray! Hooray and hurrah! Okay, gonna pop across the bridge. Oh, there's an, uh, there's an urchin over there. Let's go get him first. We can hold it down shift, which is why we can't sprint anymore. Okay, die urchin, die. Me oh, just meat. Okay, that sucked. another spine yay that's 11 now nine to go 12 gather some resin i don't know why i'm even doing that check and see if there's any crystals around which there aren't it's going to be throwing i'm going to be collapsing on the floor soon it's very very near my bedtime there's a crystal there. I might come and get that tomorrow, though. They don't respawn for a little while. One more urchin. And then we're going to go to bed. Just meat. Okay, that'll have to do. But eight more to go. I reckon another two or three more trips. Around killing the uh, urchins. I think they may have very slightly increased the spawn rate on the spines. The drop rate, rather than spawn rate, sorry. The drop rate on the spines because I do seem to be doing slightly better since 3.7 than I was when it was just on 3.5. Whether that's just that I'm trying harder, I'm not really sure. But yeah, that was a good day. We handed in lots of quests, did lots of little bits around the, the farm, the workshop, sorry. We are so close to being a B-level workshop, which is going to hopefully mean some bigger, more lucrative commissions for me. Which is going to be so good. We can maybe then look at upgrading the house. Doing all sorts of cool stuff. I don't know what else we can spend money on. I think we can upgrade to level 3 on this dude. We can on this dude as well. But I don't actually know what it does. I don't. It doesn't seem to be any restrictions. But I reckon it's gonna. it probably intends to restrict certain furnaces and things like that like medium constructs is probably going to be things like this the industrial furnace and stuff like that will be probably restricted to a level three assembly station but anyway let's go to bed because she's about to pass out so i do hope that you enjoyed the episode today even though it was a little bit of bits and bobs uh, and if you did then please leave me a like below and if you would like to see more Porsche then please do subscribe I'll let you know when those videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.